Mother Nature has come and punched you in the uterus. Like if you buy a loaf of bread, you don't just like eat the end, then I just can't relate. Good morning. As you can see, I've literally just woken up, but I just need to document this moment of excruciating pain. I'm having thoughts like how much I hate being a woman, which means you know that mother nature has come and punched you in the uterus. It actually happened last month as well, like in the middle of the night, I just like woke up with these cramps and I've had the same thing again today. And yeah, I just, um, yeah, I just know that it's period day to day, so. Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Jeff is actually just bringing me a ginger tea. What an absolute babe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you? You come and look after me. Always, always. <laughs> What's going on? Well, it's episode three, summer project, and it's period day, and I'm not well. It's just me and you today. Better look after her. Yeah, we're going to have that. a lovely day together. Love you. Help. I'm going to get up, force myself to get up, go for a walk with my mum. I'm not going to get a coffee because I don't need that extra inflammation. Am I right, Chef Jeff? Yeah. But the fresh air will do me good. Let's get this party started. <laughs> positive start to this video if you're like on your period now or can on your period like i honestly can't stress enough like how much you just don't want to move your body when you're in that much pain like for me day one is like absolutely excruciating and then the days that follow are absolutely fine so today is day one and this morning it was like unbearable pain and i'd arranged to meet my mum for a walk and i was like oh, i'm not gonna bail on my mum so I had to like force myself out, I was like hunched over and now I feel absolutely fine. So even though you think, well, I'm not gonna be able to like walk or carry out any exercise when I'm in that much pain, just go and like start because it really does like alleviate the pain so much. So that is great news. I'm feeling a lot better, but I am very hungry. Sorry about the sound of the boiling water in the background. background. I'm just making some breakfast. And as you saw, I went to Broad and got one of my favorites, like a rye sourdough loaf. Like if you buy a loaf of bread and you don't just like eat the end, then I just can't relate. I'm gonna make breakfast now and then we will have a catch up about episode three of the 12 Week Summer Project. to be my breakfast as you can see I've just got a slice of sourdough rye some avo lots of avo and two boiled eggs so quick update at week three I'll put my progress photos here because if you've watched the last two videos I've put my week one my week two and now this is my week three so I've lost four pounds which was if you watched my last video I'd lost like about three and a half pounds which I know is a lot in the first like week or so and I know that wouldn't have all been 
body fat and it all levels out but I don't wanna keep repeating myself in these videos like I'm a nutritional coach and I don't just focus on weight there's way too many variables when it comes to actual weight water weight blah blah and you make dietary lifestyle changes anyway this week my steps have been on point like they've been so good it's taken me a few weeks to kind of get into the habit of going for a daily walk but I've been doing like 10,000 steps every day this week so far and today is Friday good Friday actually great Friday in fact despite the ovary pains I've been planning to vlog today like all week to vlog and do episode three um, and I was gonna do a leg session today but I'm not sure if I'm going to just because of like you know it's period day and that's like the whole thing about having a healthy lifestyle is that like you can make plans and then they are flexible like I'll never beat myself up because I've made a plan and I'm not gonna do it things happen and things change so I think what I might do is just take today as a rest day I did have yesterday as a rest day as well but I think I might take today as a rest day and just you know have a period day and then tomorrow morning which will be Saturday morning I'll go and do my leg session then and I'll be like absolutely fine for me but Jeff is actually away tonight so I thought maybe like me and you could just like hang out today we can like have a girly night tonight and just like spend the day together because I'm all by myself and it's period day and just like eat loads of nice food and watch nice films and like do our skincare and do like girly stuff like that so yeah stick around for the rest of the video because I need someone to hang out with so that needs to be you I've got high hopes for the next two weeks so yeah make sure you subscribe so you don't miss episode four which will be out next week obviously but anyway I'm gonna eat my brekkie now this is gonna potentially go through you massively but yesterday I was grating a courgette into my omelette an absolute fantastic hack by the way and I grated my thumbnail don't don't be sick like I have biab what I get on my nails I get biab on my nails but basically as if you can see I yeah I chipped my nail and I mean it's not the end of the world or anything but my friend does my nails can you just fix this because I'll pick it this is the problem it's like I don't mind that there's like a little chip like I'm not bothered about why aren't you going into gear oh my god like, I can't cope okay yeah. yeah I don't care that there's like a little chip but like I'm a notorious picker and because it's like oh it's just so tempting to pick and I don't want to ruin my nails so she said that I can pop in and she'll fix it for me so I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna go food shopping like I need stuff for dinner tonight and it's just me by myself so like what shall we have for dinner together like I just don't know what I fancy what shall we have like we can have anything we want it's just gonna be me and you like watching a film having dinner like I could get but like a bag of chocolate buttons and stuff for maybe afterwards but I'll hopefully decide what I'm gonna make and then I can go to the shop grab stuff for it Two hours later. We now have a fully intact nail. Love that for me. I've also had a genius idea. And if there's one thing I absolutely love, it's sushi. And Jeff likes sushi as well, but he's not obsessed with it. Like it's not his favorite, like it is for me. Like he'd much rather get like a pizza or a Nando's or something like that, you know? So I'm going to fully make the most of this opportunity. And in Asda, they have like a actual like sushi takeaway counter kind of thing. So, looks very busy in there. It's actually like half 12. I mean, it's a Friday, but it's only half 12. So I like to think that it should be still fully stocked, ready. So the goal is fill thy bag up with sushi, stick it in the fridge to have tonight. And then that'll be fun. We can have like a little sushi night together. Wish me luck. Let's do this. We got the goods. I'm very, very much looking forward to it, but it is one o'clock now and I'm starving, so I'm gonna have some lunch. My lunch is gonna be on along the similar lines of what I'm having for dinner, but that's just what I fancy. And on period day, you have to have what you fancy. So, I mean, aren't I lucky that I'm not craving like a McDonald's and I'm craving celery and salmon. I bought this piece of salmon for me and Jeff, so it's like not portioned out, but it's like for two people and I'm just gonna have the whole thing because why the hell not? I'm gonna have some asparagus and celery and some basmati and I'm basically just gonna shove it all in a frying pan because I'm not that bothered. I'm just really hungry and I want the amigas, I want the anti-inflammatory, I want the greens, I want to like nourish my period body. <laughs> So okay, in three, two, one, this will be a delicious lunch. Three, two, one. Woohoo! I'm actually not mad at it, to be honest. Like, I mean, it's enough salmon to feed the whole street, but I don't like to waste food. And this was actually for me and Chef Jeff, but this is going to be my lunch. Yummy. Some time has elapsed. I've actually been sat outside for about 10 minutes, just getting some sun. And this is gonna sound really weird and maybe you can relate to this, but like I'm self-employed now and I went self-employed like a year ago and 
if you've watched my, deep, my videos from the beginning, like we were moving and everything like that. So we're moving and then I was like, start my own business and literally since then, so for like a whole year, like I've honestly like not had, a, you know, any time off really or like I don't take time off. Like I had a day off on Christmas day and even on holiday, like if you watched our, my Mallorca videos, like I work when I'm away, which is absolutely fine. Like I love it, my choice. That's not, I'm not complaining about that but I like made sure I did so much work this week so I could have a bit of like a bank holiday off I mean there's always work to do but there's nothing like immediate I'm literally just twiddling my thumbs and I can't chill and I just like feel really bored and I was really looking forward to today thinking like oh you know just be nice like because Jeff is away and you know like I miss him I just like never get time on my own I literally just feel really like uneasy and really bored and I like it's stressing me out which is like I feel like it's not normal and you should force yourself to chill in those situations. I have not felt boredom in such a long time and it's like not sitting well with me at all. And as much as I could just get my laptop out and start working, I kind of don't want to, like I don't want to just like resort to that to like distract myself. I think that's quite like a bad thing to do, like you shouldn't always be distracting yourself. So anyway, I texted my mum and I was like, I'm bored. She's like, well, I'm just sat in the garden, like come around, there's a vegan magnum with your name on it. So I'm just going to pop over. It's like four o'clock now. So I'm going to walk over there. I've only done, well, I've done 7,000 steps today, which is really good, but I want to get to my 10,000 and it's about 15, 20 minute walk away. So I'm going to walk to my mum's and have a vegan magnum and then come back and hopefully I can just like relax this evening. I'm going to have to work on my work-life balance a bit better, I feel. But anyway, there's a vegan magnum with my name on it. Let's go, to, let's go back and see my mum for the second time today. Well, this isn't quite the end to the vlog that I was expecting or hoping for. I was planning to like do my fake tan routine together last night and do like my evening skincare and like wind down together. Um, but I actually received some like quite bad news after I was filming last night, like after I had dinner. Um, and so yeah, just kind of spent the evening being sad and stuff and um, I've just come to the gym now because, I mean, to be honest, like the gym is actually like my happy place and like somewhere I feel like calm and like content, just like by myself with my headphones, like doing something for me. So I am gonna round off the video here. I will um, leave you with a bit of my gym workout, which I'm gonna do now. Sorry that this is such like a abrupt end to the video. I did wanna still update on the end of my day yesterday because obviously I was planning on going to the gym and I didn't go. Um, my cramps are much better today and I ended up doing a whopping 12,000 steps. I don't know if you can see. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do my leg workout now, have a little walk after and just wait for Chef Jeff to come back really and just have a chilled weekend. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you with some of my leg workout now. Um, thank you so much for watching this one if you made it to this far. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. It really helps the algorithm on YouTube for other people to discover this delightful video box on my channel. And please subscribe because I upload new videos regularly and episode four will be coming really, really soon. So thank you so much for watching and I hope this video is okay. And yeah, I'll leave you with a little bit of my workout now. So see you next time.